Well, this shooting and other recent shootings across the country have a lot of people on edge. So now security at community colleges right here in Connecticut is being beefed up. ARC political correspondent Mark Davis live from Capitol Community College with more. Mark. <laughs> Hi, Darren and Ann. Good evening, everyone from Capital Community College. This is the community college campus that's located in the 11 floors of the former G. Fox department uh, store in downtown Hartford. Uh, big universities in the state, like Yale and New Haven and UConn up in stores, have their own professional police departments. But big community colleges, like Gateway in New Haven and Capital here in Hartford, do not. There are more than 50,000 students enrolled this year at the 12 campus Connecticut Community College system. 6,000 here at Capital Community College. Like all the other campuses, there is a security force here, and many members of that security force are certified former municipal police officers. But by policy and law, they are forbidden to carry firearms. We want all of our community colleges to ultimately establish special police forces. Today, the Board of Regents for Higher Education voted unanimously to lift the ban on weapons and clear the way for special police forces at all 12 campuses. What happened yesterday, the kinds of things that are continuing to occur, really make it necessary to, for us to look at ways to how we can deter and make sure that if something happens that we can respond rapidly. I think it's just part of the puzzle of the, all of the things that you do on a college campus to maintain a safe environment. The effort to bring this about has been going on for more than a year. The legislature will have to approve creating the special police forces, which have been long established at the state universities. The president here at Manchester Community College thinks the forces could be established by spring. Students we spoke with today are all for it. I think it's a good idea because we have everything that's going on with the college um, shootings. So I, if they bring guns and they have guns, then it's a better, I guess, resolution. Conditions are changing, so we think we need people to protect us. And an added bonus to this move is that it probably won't cost very much at all because so many of these community college security officers are retired police officers who are already certified to carry weapons. Like the chief here, spent 25 years on the Waterbury Police Department, yet here every day doing his security rounds, he can't carry a gun. This is all designed to change that. Live from Capital Community College in downtown Hartford, Mark Davis, News 8.